Hey guys, nice armor to get nerd here with my unboxing. Um, this is not the deluxe set. This is the first edition uh, Nintendo. This is the first version that that ever came out. This was uh, only released. Uh, this was as a test to see how well sales would do for this. And uh, yeah, it did it did very well. Um, I, I'm not sure how many they put out in this country. Maybe about 50,000 or so. I don't know. I really have no clue. But um, yeah, they only put this version in uh, Los Angeles, New York City, and it sold very well. Very well. So then they put out the deluxe set. Now I'm gonna have the unboxing of this set. The box is mint, mint, except for just one little flaw, which I'll show you. Um, it's a very, very little, very little flaw that, you know, um, be like, oh, no worries, you know. Uh, doesn't really too much affect the value, but unless you're looking for a complete mint one and you're willing to pay the big bucks for it, flawless. So, yeah, this is the front. It looks exactly like the deluxe set, except right here in the bottom corner, it says Nintendo Entertainment System. So, um, yeah. It comes with my, uh, this one comes with the hang tab. Or, no, not the hang tab, but the, the handle. This is a pretty, uh, heavy box. Ugh. It must weigh about 20 pounds. Or so. Here's the side of it. Oh, I didn't really like the sound of that. I, um, this is a very valuable box. So, I, um, it's a lot more valuable than the deluxe set. The deluxe set is worth some money. So, a lot of money. Um, it has a different back. It has this uh, family right there enjoying their Nintendo Entertainment System when the other one it's like has a lot of other colors. Um, yeah, it, um, look at you get a good look at that. What was a read. The first video game, the first video system to move the action off the screen and into your living room. Alright, it's got Rob, your robotic operating buddy, Zapper, Nintendo Control Deck, Nintendo Game Controllers, Jeremite, and Duck Hunt Game Packs. They, they try to avoid, of course, making it called uh, video game cartridges because of, um, you know, because of the video game crash. So, did I already show that side? Yeah, I did. On the other side, it shows, um, I think, I believe it's exactly the same as the, uh, other, uh, the deluxe set. So, if you want the deluxe set, it, I believe it will be in the, in a link, probably on the front. So, here we go to the unboxing. I did not, uh, get this set. I actually got this set on, off of, uh, Craigslist for 60 bucks. Uh, yeah, I didn't do, didn't do too bad here. So, let's get to this unboxing. I love how the, oh yeah, oh, I gotta show you that one little, little flaw. You see that little nick? That little nick right there? That's the only flaw! Yeah, not too bad. And on the back it says, pull to open. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm going to pull to open. Alright, since everyone doesn't actually look at that side, I'm going to open it from the tab on the front of the box. This box is mint, mint. This guy obviously, well, took care of it. Um, I guess what happens is that um, the guy's brother must have had it, which the guy told me. He uh, took the box out, probably put it in. Uh, as soon as he opened it, he probably put it in um, the closet and never took it out since today. It's very hard 
Um, the guy obviously knew what he had, but he wasn't. He said that just a box went for like 60 bucks, but that was the, like worst shape, and he couldn't didn't come with the styrofoam or anything. He said it's very hard to find styrofoam in, in this good of shape, which um, is true. It's true because my other one isn't in good of shape. So there's gonna be some stuff in this one that's gonna be, um, and the other one, it's a luck set. But there's gonna be some differences. Of course, you got your manual right here, how to set up your Nintendo Entertainment System. It's so simple, a robot could almost do it. All right, now I'm just gonna switch the song. All right, so you're gonna have the um, manual right here, you know. Chapter one, Nintendo Entertainment System so, uh, slash NES. The first thing for uh, NES, you know. Um, need help, you know, consumer information. Then we got the RF thingy, Majuhiki Majigger. We got the actual R at well no. This is the Cine 5 slash 300 with this weird horseshoe that I really I'm not old enough to know to come from that era. So you know you got your control. I'm just gonna breeze through this really fast, you know. Um, you know, the A V the R F uh some stuff came in this box that usually um you won't see with the other NESs. So you got the controller, how to start the game, you know, take cartridge out, do not put fingers inside the game pack, rob instruction manual, you know, how to make them work, and do not bang them, do not just stand in front of the TV and don't, like, change the channel or whatever, you know, and, um, you know, the, the thing you put over uh, Rob's eyes, uh, Zapper instruction manual. You know, you want to point at the TV, the target, you know, want to rear sight, you know, front sight, or whatever. Um, yeah, warranty and service information. We got all of that. We got all this stuff like AC adapter, 12 bucks, RF switch, 11 bucks, controller, 15 bucks. Um, if only you can get some of these items today for that same price. Well, um, not like manual for a dollar game. Well, I mean, game pack manual for a dollar twenty-five would be pretty good. The block hands sold as set for two dollars. Um, <laughs> that's still available. I'd love to buy that. Uh, block trays. Oh, I'd love to have that. The block colors. So you got all the blocks for the um stack up for like ten bucks total, basically. <laughs> Oh, it's eight dollars total. Got gyros hands uh, for two dollars. The gyro spinner for ten dollars. Gyro tray five bucks. Gyro holder three dollars. Gyros two sold at set for eight bucks. You know, if only you could just buy all this today, it we'd be pretty rich people. So that's the manual for you. Let's go to rob the robot. Yeah. That's what most of you people are probably here for. This is my second Rob the Robot. Let me get the other one. My other one. With my deluxe set. So I got two Rob the Robots. This one works better. Because you can just directly lift its arms up and down. And left to right. And it works a little better. It's a little better. I know. Do I even have battery? Yeah, I do. But... Doesn't feel like working. Whatever. Don't show YouTube. We got this little compartment here with a baggie. Of the claws with the bag. Here we go. You know, they go they goes right here. I don't know if that's the original place, but you know that would be seems like a right place to have it. This little place right here, we got another set of uh, sealed eyes. Or not 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 the eyes, but uh, lens, eyes lens. But this is even mintier shape. I mean, it doesn't have too many creases or folds there. Too bad. Right here we have the baggie with 
uh, the AC adapter. Right here we got the original. <laughs> I just I just flew out. But uh, yeah, this is something that most people didn't have. This little um, let's see VHF matching box. Unfortunately, um, when the hooks is missing, it fell off. So it's probably useless now. But if you're really looking to complete your collection and for uh, for this whole box and you know. Um, Original gray light gun. Later on, they had the orange one because parents complained, I guess. Original NES controller. Very, as I said before, and very. Oh no, I said about Rob, a very iconic figure. Um, got the NES controller. Great, great controller. Nice square shape. I moved the AV cables to here. I put the so loose ones. You know, this is brand new in the baggie. The staple on it. Got these two games. These did come from the deluxe set, though, so it's gonna be a little rough. Uh, duck hunt. And uh, please, guys, subscribe if you want to see more retro gaming channels and pickups like these. Um, duck hunt. Great, great game. The only flaw, um, well, there, there's like no flaws in there. But um, what uh, something that really pissed people off, which you probably know by now is the, um, the dog, of course, that came up. So there's the box. Here's the manual. Let's breeze through this really quick. Yeah, I um, put the zapper in there. How to play. Yeah, there's it's just, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, of course, we got Jagramite. Very, uh, I hope I get the big box version. Um, unfortunately, this does not come with the Famicom adapter. But it is five screw game. Very, very fun game. Got the sleeve. I, I, should, I, should, tell you, I should show you the sleeve. Nintendo brand sleeve. Very cool. Oh, yeah, and, um... Uh, the games come with their original hang tabs. Yeah. Jeremite manual. Let's breathe through this real quick. You know, how to set up Rob's equipment and stuff. Very cool. Just gonna breathe through um, this really quick. Of course, it has the prices on all the little things. There's that. The Nintendo system itself. Um, this is not the one that came... Uh, I got this from the deluxe set, so this is not the original original first edition that was... You know, if it was, it would probably be worth a lot, a ton of more money. And if it came with the little paperwork sleeve thing, that uh, authenticates its number, you know, of... Um, production, what number production it is, but it is a pretty low number, it's 0717798, so this is, um, under a million, yeah, that's a good, alright, uh, glimpse of that, we got Rob's pieces here, of course you got the tray, for the gyros, we have the little things for the gyro to put the gyros on. I'll set that up for you. We have the um, the charge, um, the spinning, the gyro spinner. That's what it's called. Unfortunately, mine is broken. I have a battery in it. I've tried to attempt to fix it, but it has um, has failed. It was something with the wire, it wasn't in the right place, and I, you know, it, it just it got out of hand from there. So, you know, it's very cool though. I will set up and everything. It was working. 
We've got the first spinner with its little sticker thing, but um, you know, let's see, take that off for you. Gyro, we've got the spinner right there, and then we got another gyro with the little paper thing on it. Another gyro right there. Make sure we set the NES. So yeah, there's that gyro. Alright, now we're going to set up Rob. Yeah. We're going to set up Rob. Rob the robot. Put this down and away. Yeah, we might get that. The, um, the spinning, the gyro spinner goes on slot number one. It is marked right there. It has the numbers one, two, three, four, five. And there's Rob. Hey, Robbie. And then we got Rob too. Mmm. Yeah, getting it on with Rob number one. Um, insert slot one. And then we're gonna put the hooks on. So we put it on just like that, and it, you know it's on when it just snaps right on just like that. Let's see. Alright, that's good for you. Um, we got this, goes into slot 2 and 3. You know, you can move his arms up and down, left and right. Of course, NES controller goes in that. And last, you put, um, where you put the gyros on slot 4 and 5. Now you put the gyros right on there. Man, if only I could show you guys. But you probably, if you, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen the Angry Video Game Nerds, um, you know, uh, Rob the Robot 100 episode spectacular, you could say it. So, uh, yeah. Say bye, Rob. Bye. Alright, I'll just show it. Uh, this one works if you just turn it on, but, you know. Alright, so thanks, YouTube. Bye.